park against the void, kill him, can't run away. Doesn't look like Hanscam wants to go for it though. And it's just oh, gonna bottom lane, 33, he's gonna die. That's the first blood for AUI. Bring the creep Deny over. Deny all Ooh, the creeps on the is. bottom. He's gonna get quite a fair few of those for sure. I mean, if not him, obviously when it comes back round, Skeeter's going to be able to deny the rest of them. They should be able to deny a huge amount of that way. Top lane, Kezu is going to get caught out by the cold feet. A little bit as he now struggles to get close to any action. As he heads in, has to use the Firefly to evade the two of them going over and across that little bit of a ravine. It's going to allow Skeeter to continue He's to dead. chase him down, though. And once that shield pops, I mean, doesn't even need to. Just the right clicks alone and the blast from Maui. Six, now they want to make a move on Faces with very nice rotation. Yeah. Should be a kill unless Chrono is used, and there it is. And it's going to buy him a bit of safety. The leash obviously resuming. They jump in with the silence and with the pullback. That's got to hurt. Not only losing his life, but Chronosphere, it's on cooldown for two years, Lacoste. Void, the, you get Yule Scepter, then the, what do you do? Like, you're just staying one step behind and you have that Battle Fury. We're gonna try and get in under the tower. TP in comes through and limps in with a wraparound. He's able to find the quick setup onto Owie, look for the easy kill. Owie pops the stick charges. He's kind of tanky with a frost shield, but they'll be able to work through the magical damage they have at their availability. They'll also be able to find Bra. This would be a big grab, and they get a, a fair few bashes there. The RNG working in favor of Nico Baby, as they do find themselves a big one. Hans can go straight for the TP out. It's not going to make it, though. And they go with the battery assault. Mumiander able to cancel the channeling, and they'll take Hans Ken down in return. But Alliance definitely finding that kill on the SF. Brile just but towards potentially the mid lane, trying to take the tier one there. These sort of gold bounties early on are going to Get him that very, very fast time in this game. Over towards the outpost, the fight will kick off. Farley gets separated, but they don't have any means to stay on top of him. They head back over towards Nico Baby and Handscan. Still no Chrono for 30 seconds. They've got the boat combo, though, straight down onto Moon Meander. If they remove Clock, look to reclaim this outpost before the 10 minute mark, and they'll be able to do so. Two outposts for Dyer at the moment, uh, 33 also. He's gonna, nah, not gonna get that bounty. See, Skido still got the point available if he wants to drop it into the borrowed time and he won't even need to. Fisher's off the mark. A little comeback because of that missed hook shot and uh, here comes the combo. Uh, he's uh, he's going to get collapsed on. Ice Blast comes flying in. Moon will tick over the edge to the icy damage. Doom farm in the mid lane, 2400 on towards the Radiance. Going to try and chase down Hanscam. One more hit will get that silence in. Lim's going to throw down a torrent to try and help things out, but Kez has already jumped across. The damage is done. Shot connects. He's deep behind the tower. Moon is looking for some very aggressive setup. Kez who's there, able to easily close the gap and offer the damage that Moon needs to get that kill. They'll try and go on him in response. They've got the X mark. Does anything, is there anything else after it? There is not. The shield keeps him more than fine. Crazy, get the space for the tower. Farm. Uh, as long as he feels that he's able to get enough out of the side lanes whilst all this action is going on mid, he's going to be okay with the state of the game. Mid lane, Moon, he's found once more. It's been a few times that Moon is playing incredibly aggressive. It's cost him quite a few of his lives now. He's down, he's died to three times so far this game. Half of the kills the Alliance have picked up. Now with their bat initiation, they may just get Kezu as well. Into the Echo Slam, no messing around. They're dropping all the spells. Kezu cannot get out with the orb in time. At the moment, but he doesn't have like a clear target because nice. it's magical damage from both cores. Look at Crazy. this again, Moon. He keeps coming over. He's got Kezu in with him, but he may have just baited Kezu into a bit of a, a tricky situation. Why oh, not nice. with Bowie coming frost. in with a great chain frost like this? Hook shot across. Moon, this time he's got the backup to get the kill. Shaker falls, the rest of Crazy turn up and they will be there to back up Moon's aggressive initiation. And he's looking for a chance to get in with a hook shot. He'll jump straight away over to Fada. Pulled in by the Sinister Gaze. Fada gets the, the Ice Blast out, but it doesn't matter. And the, the timings are synced. Radiance plus BKB on Shadowfin. Let's see if they can go for Skeeter the twice. They'll pop out the borrowed time. Instant TP backup comes through from Crazy. 33 still playing in deep. He gets the lasso off. Jump forward for Nico Baby. The Chrono. He gets the two of them to follow up there Cons. from the Ice Blast. But the Cons are down. Moon. He's trying to disrupt this play. The Chain Frost is out. Nico Baby time walks away. He'll be fine. But 33. Oh, back of Hanskin. He gets in with the jump. Manages to get the Echo off to finish off the kills with the Fisher out as well. He picks up the double. But Brylan Kezu is still alive. It's a three for two. Was a very nice uh, Echo Slam without it. In fact, if Hans can combine these initiations, they can blow up heroes. Top 33, it's being hunted. And he is being killed off. Moon has a very simple hook shot into the tree line. 
to feel redundant in the team fights when it's a full 5v5. Jump forward. We're gonna try and poke the borrowed time, at least out of Skeeter to start things off. Glimmer Cape will protect him. Hook shot onto the back lines and with the jump four, Kezu's found the coil onto the two of them. Splitting up the fight. Brial in the river. He's playing with the idea of popping the red cream. They've committed the chrono here as they've gone for these back lines and with the chrono, they've done it. They've got the abaddon. Nico Baby's still trying to fight on. He's got the ability to time walk out once again. The BKP will be ending soon, but they split up crazy. They've killed Echo off. Echo Slam's still ready. Hansken's ready to look for a jump. Nice the pitcher block. block up. It's perfect. Separates Brial from the rest of his teammates. Brial cannot get back to safety. He will he does get the chance to put the BKP, but Lim in response uses his own BKB. The Requiem does not pose a single threat at all. Ice Blast, it's coming in. It's not going to be on the point. Brile still getting away. He's going to look to juke out the turret, and he will, but it doesn't matter because Nico, baby, time walks in. Bash to the face, takes down the SF. Now oh, he's got a little bit of safety with the Glimmer Cape. Will get into the trees. They are pinging. Looks like someone was aware that he was around, but with the instant TP out, Owie does manage to survive. Hey. It is slow, and it's into all of the team fight ultimates of Alliance. And Alliance, they know this is going on. As outside the pit, Alliance will show that they know what's up. They'll throw the ice blast out. They should maybe pop the ult the once. We'll see if Skeeter's borrowed time does get forced out. Kezi tried to jump in with the Dream Corp again. Again, it's incredibly split up. There just isn't the opportunity for the, the chase ulti. down. The ult, it comes out early. Nico Baby's got the chrono. He can just chase this out, wait it off. Is he going to drop the chrono time? The fear will push him back momentarily, but he can chase on forward. He doesn't even need the chrono to kill off Skeeter. That's the carry down. He's over towards Bro. Bro pops the BKB, but they have enough physical damage to go for it. The Chain Frost is out, but the BKB BKBs are up, now comes the Chrono, they'll lock down Brian. they'll kill off his SF, Moon falls in the river, as they just cannot take the fights at the moment, crazy. They're heroes, the carry Abaddon, it's getting destroyed this game, Lacoste. Yeah, one of the reasons why I said they can't go into Roche pit, but I guess that's just nerves. You feel like you need to do something and it uh, forces you to make mistakes. You know that the, this lineup is not gonna scale, you have a lot of magical damage, this Abaddon, you're playing against uh, Full pipe on Batrider, you have uh, two cores who have BKB on enemies, so you want to do something right now. I mean, we do. You know, as good as Nico Baby's playing, a little bit of a disappointment from him as he did go for the Manta rather than the Executor. But to be, uh, we've got to give him credit. You know, he wants to build the Aghanims. This is teammates saying, dude, let's let's let's, let's get the win Manta. This one. Let's, yeah, let's let's win this. Let's play this sensible. Kezu, he's found 33, gets the grab. He's got a phase shift. Is he going to be able to blink out of this one? He is not. Kezu will fall. They're still trying to get in around this pit, but I, I don't think that they can do this. They don't have Brawl. They don't have Kezu. Skeeter's gonna get dragged back. Nico Baby can just chase down the back lines. Moon tries to hold him back with a hook shot, but I think they're gonna pretty much kill them all here, Alliance. There's no need to stop. They can just keep on chasing. Just switch the target. Go for Skeeter. Go he for the carry. He's salty, but it's a bigger kill. Yeah, they're buy gonna back. buy back. They know they've got to do something. Every single fight is just ending in a loss for Crazy. Skeeter is trapped up by the Fisher. Carry down once more. Moon dying underneath his tier two tower. The Glimmer buys him some time. Nico Baby, he's probably going to chase this. He is indeed. Straight up the high ground, past the tier threes. The bashes are out. How he brought back for this. He'll pull him in. Look at him before oh, he no, kills him off. Oh no, you did not kill still from Hanske. Nico Baby like that. He's diving tier four tower. Third three has vision on him. Yeah. I mean, they're. They're just dying all over the place now, crazy. It, it's getting messy. It looks like the comms, the communication is breaking down. They're just getting solo picked off and Alliance is free to do whatever they want right now. I mean, they're trying to fight here. They, they get a support. It's something. There's going to be a buyback straight up. Alliance, they have all the ultimates, so they'll certainly be ready to make crazy pay for them taking the life of Fada. Nico Baby jumps across, keeps himself on the abandon. And again, crazy. They are just so split up. They cannot get any sort of play together other than killing off a support. Skeeter, the borrowed time will end. The chrono's down. Nico Baby does get pulled to the side, so a little bit of time to help out the abandon, but the BKB's pop. Nico Baby able to recommit onto his target and gets the kill. Well, actually, he doesn't. And poor Nico Baby, both Fodder and Hanscan, they're just stealing his kills all this game, you know. He does not care. He's about to hit level 25, uh, 18,000 net worth at the moment. 
I'm kind of disappointed that he didn't go for that Agony set. I, I feel in a game like this, where it's getting this one-sided, you got to say, you know, come on. I mean, I, I, I say it. I think, I'm sure Nico Baby's on our side. I'm sure it's the, the rest it's of his the rest team of the lines, saying, for sure. do not buy the Ags. Could get be clairvoyance. Manta. I mean, he could have been sending <laughs> don't uh, buy messages. Ags. Don't buy Ags. <laughs> get this uh, Manta style. Get rid of the silence from Abaddon and Buck. I mean, it's the same play. We're just... Uh, Abaddon can't go in, try to make something happen, but... Uh, the fear of X mark. Try to proc it, and here it comes once again. Let's see if they can proc the ult. I'm bouncing back. Nico Baby's in. There goes the borrowed time. Managed to silence Nico Baby, but that will be that. 33 track skeeter down with the lasso. Carry about and dead once again. And it's the base. Nico Baby's not afraid to sort of jump in aggressively, force them to back up. It's a 20k gold lead right now as Alliance head up to the high ground, looks to take these towers away. As they don't have any big items coming on the crazy at the moment. Uh, okay, hook shot, do or die. No follow up. I killed Fada before. Can they do it again? It doesn't look like it this time. Not even able to find the support kill. Silence on Nico, baby. Quickly removed by his Manta. Thank you guys for giving me a suggestion to go for Manta style instead of a <laughs> shitty Aghanim Scepter. Well, that's uh, why it's called a team game. It is, you know? That's why you listen to your team. I mean, maybe not necessarily in pubs. At least they don't listen to me when I'm talking to my teammates. But I in these why. pro games, the communication is key. And the, the theorization during the, the play is also certainly there. Butterfly done for Nico, baby. He's just rolling in the gold right now. Still 40 seconds on that age. Let's see, what did he take at the 25? He does take the, the AOE. He's going for the big chronos. I mean, he's not going to die. No, but there's no... Necessity for him to have the backtrack in this one. Just wants to look for the flashy plays to seal the deal here in this game one. Still look to slowly take this tier three tower down. Skeeter. I mean, he got the deny. That's something. That's something. That's his highlight for the game. Tower's gone. Racks are open. Aegis is gone in five seconds. They're a bit slow on sieging. Okay, here it comes. Here we go. Have they got a combo? No. <laughs> That's the <laughs> combo. It's initiate into the level 25 chrono. There'll be a buyback from Bryle. Let's we'll see what they can do here. If anything, Nico Baby jumps across, looks to get a double. He's he's already thinking about the rampage. He's eyeing up the opportunity to get some big old kills here. There's the triple. Three out of five. Give him some action. Give him it. Four. Give him more. Rampage, There's the Come on. The cool GG, but he wants that rampage. He's into the fountain. Is he going to get it? It's time. He no. No, once again, hands Who was that? 33. They it was stole. 33. 33. Stealing the rampage. Wow. Wow. I mean, it may be a win for Alliance, but Nico Baby's going to be mad.